I'm not happy. Look at this. It's 44 degrees. Ain't nobody got no time for that coldness. And that's why I'm going to sunny LA, where I'll be happy, happy. All right, so I'm in Studio City, outside of Los Angeles, California. I've got a meeting this morning with um, somebody pretty awesome. Who is it? I'll tell you more about that in a bit. Man, the weather is beautiful out here. California, gotta love it. This week I'm gonna talk a little bit about using found sounds in your song construction. Found sounds are unconventional items that you find in your house, in nature, anywhere and you use them to create sounds that uh, are unique. So for example, things like change in your pocket can create a great percussive sound, like even a spoon and a fork. Anyway, I had the opportunity to explore some of these sounds with uh, a local artist. Um, he's a young guy, and I'd love to introduce you to him. His name is Ryan. <laughs> How do you turn it on? Can we? Ryan, you know what would make a cool sound? What if I got you to kick that? Oh! Alright. Now I want to do it again. Oh. Recording found sounds can actually be a fun exploration of the space around you. Maybe spray it on the grass? You're turning it on? Oh this is dangerous. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. God. You better get that thing under control. Does that container make a good noise when you when you kick it? But it would be good to get some of that. Let's hear. Let's hear. You can get creative. Things that are unconventional can be used as audio. For example, if you're going for a great low-end kick drum sound, why not try a washer machine? It's a dryer. In this case, a dryer. How about a zipper? Let's give it a shot. We could even try a magazine. Another idea. Let's just grab a bag and use it as a hi-hat. So the steps, once you've recorded the um, audio pieces, I'll transfer it to my computer. I pull it into a logic session. I select the parts and pieces that sound the best and then I'll quantize it, which means put it into time. And then I start building out the song, muting things that don't work, keeping things that do work, and then go from there. It's pretty simple. So the other day I had an opportunity to meet with uh, someone who was super cool. This guy's name is Tyler Bates, and he's done uh, music scores for Guardians of the Galaxy 1 and 2, 300, John Wick, Death Proof, a bunch of horror films. I mean, the guy's a, an incredible composer. He's a guitar player. So I picked up a bunch of insights. He said, for all those people who are listening to the radio and they're upset because they're not hearing the kind of music that they'd like to hear, he says, create it, make it yourself, which I thought was great advice. The other thing he said that I thought that was cool was when you're writing a song, take your time to set it up. Let it bake a little bit before you go into the hook, and that'll give it even more of a payoff once you get to the chorus. So we'll try that. Okay, let me show you how I use those found sounds in a song. And let me isolate a few of them so you can hear what they sound like. This is Ryan saying, woo. <gasps> Sorry, who. So here's another one of his uh, vocal performances. That's when he was using the little megaphone that changed his voice. So this is me clinking silverware together. Here's the blower which I used as what's called a riser. So it's very short and quick. I've got a couple other ones. So I used the water hose as a riser and I put on a couple effects. Here's what that sounds like. 
I included the magazine. So this is me just crinkling a magazine. The dryer door turned out really cool. That's me shutting the dryer, dryer door. Zipper was cool too. Okay, I'll give you that one. Zipper, I actually um, used two zipper zips, put them in stereo next to each other, and put some effects on them. Now I'll play you the whole song. Did you know that Siri can actually beatbox? Siri, can you beatbox for me? Here's one I've been practicing boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats and boots. I can do this all day. <laughs> That's it.